Hi, for this interview, I invited Ford Models Supermodel of the World Philippines winner in 2011, an international model, one of the country's top, Samantha Gomez. Sam. Hello. Ha? Hello po. <laughs> oh, kumusta na? Anong balita? Okay naman. Ito, nasa Pampanga in my hometown. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, parang pumayat ka, no? Pumayat ka na talaga simula nung <laughs> diba? Ano nasabihan kita? <laughs> ah, buti naman. <laughs> oh, pumayat naman dito sa, dito sa braso halata. Hindi. Hmm. Hindi. Okay lang. Stress din. Charot. <laughs> stress. Isipin na stress, hindi uso yun. Anyway, ka, Sam, pakikwento naman sa audience natin. Pa, paano ka ba napunta sa modeling? Sa modeling? Well, nag-start ako, syempre, here in my hometown sa Pampanga. I started doing shows for a local designer. Mm-hmm. And then, I was discovered by you. <laughs> Oy, teka mo, teka mo na, teka mo na. Pangalanan mo naman yung local designer. Ano I, yes, I was discovered. I, I was I started doing shows for Philip Torres. Um he's a very known um designer here in Pampanga and then ayun, um I met you at his shop because lagi ka tang <laughs> lagi ka madalas in Pampanga. Madaming magaganda at guapo here. <laughs> and then <laughs> um <laughs> Ayun, that's actually what really thrusted me into the modeling scene in Manila because you sent me to castings there. So, syempre dun lahat ng mga fashion week, all mm. the like big shows and like photo shoots. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I started. Sam, at a very young age, nagsimula ka sa modeling, di ba? At um, yeah. karamihan ng mga ano mo, karamihan ng teenage years mo, kinuha ng fashion, ng modeling. 
Ah, mm-hmm. nakapag <laughs> nakarampa ka sa magagaling na designer, sa malalaking brands. Sa so, tingin mo ba kinuha ng modeling ang iyong pagiging teenager? Or in-enjoy oh. mo lang? Siyempre in-enjoy ko. Pero siyempre, because, I mean, I started modeling when I was 13. Um, I started modeling professionally when I was 13. Pero I was still in school. Um, I don't think naman na kinuha niya yung teenage years ko. Because, I mean, I was still in school. I was trying to balance it. And then I was still like seeing my classmates and my friends, and I still get to do the usual teenager things, naman. But actually, being in the modeling um industry actually added more to like mm-hmm. my youth. Eh, parang the experiences um I got from modeling, I I was learning a lot of different things and meeting more people outside. So, mas more gain siya to be honest than ah. like. Taking uh-huh. some, yeah. Tapos instead of thinking of the negative side, yung positive na lang tingnan, di ba? Yeah. I don't think, wala namang, wala namang negative. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely more positive siya. So, ayun. <laughs> so, Sam, nari, nang nari-research ko yung, ano mo, especially sa social media mo, nakita ko talagang mga barkada, may mga bullying git na mga klase mo, di ba? Kasi tol ka eh for your generation, di ba? At ano ba yung ano ba yung dream mo nung bata ka? Aside from modeling, ano talaga yung pinaka dream mo? Ano yung gusto mong maging paglaki? Pinaka dream ko? <laughs> Actually, parang at that age, wala pa talaga po ako sobrang solid na idea what I wanted to be or what I wanted to do. Parang syempre at that time I was just thinking about school and then college. So Parang at college, I was thinking either medical field or sa like architect engineer field because mm. yung mom side, side ko, yun yung mga field nila. So, ayun, parang, <laughs> parang wala talaga. Parang during those years, yung nabilt talaga na dream ko at the time was being a model talaga. Kasi so, nga, ato yun, Sam. <laughs> Na, na ano sa utak mo, di ba? Kasi alam mo kasi matangkad ka, ganun ba yun? You stood out? Um, actually, hindi ko, actually now nga that I think of it, hindi naman siya really because of my height. It's just at the time because I was um, watching a lot of America's Next Top Model. So parang na, na may nag-spark lang in me na parang, oh, I want to be one also. And then parang my mom was supportive nga and she was like, you know, you can be a model. Tapos sabi niya, syempre matangkat nga ako. So parang perfect for modeling. So parang mas dun pa na na, okay, I want to be a model. <laughs> Kasi so, po, alam niyo po, our, our dear audience, for your information, when I saw Sam, she was already 5'9 at age 13. Diba? Ganun katangkat, tapos lang, kipa yan. So talaga perfect, no? Pero Sam, matanong lang kita. Uh, kasi marami, ilang taon ka na no, sa industriya. Marami ka na rin na pagdaanan. Ano ba yung uh, leksyon na natutunan mo sa pagiging modelo mo? Ano yung leksyon sa, in life in general sa pagiging modelo mo? Ano, ano yung natutunan mo from modeling para i-ano mo sa buhay mo? Deep, well, <laughs> um, I think I learned actually a lot from being a model pero one of like probably the most important ones or syempre yung being disciplined that's like a really big factor that you also parang learn through modeling you have to be disciplined and then um ayun just like through hard work you know, having faith then and believing that you can like do things Um, mainly also being independent because a lot of things that I had to do personally was ako. <laughs> mm. So, um, ayun, parang I learned adulting stuff. <laughs> parang At an all early the, age. Like, At an yeah, early age. so, yeah, so it really, parang minulat ako sa real world, parang ganon. So, I learned a lot of things in advance, which is a blessing kasi at a young age, I got to like learn all those things na. So, I'm kind of like, you know, 
throughout the years after, parang I kind of knew na what to do. So, okay. yeah. So, Ayun. Sam, <laughs> nag, nag, nag-base ka sa New York, no? Di ba? Uh, naka-sign up ka sa major model, yes. major model management, no? Anong anong feeling? Yes. Tell us kasi ikaw yung nandoon doon eh. Kami meron lang kami eh. Alam lang namin na nandoon ka. Uh, ano yung feeling na na sa isang major modeling agency ka? At how was it yung pagkikipagtrabaho, pakikisalamuan sa ibang models na iba, mga top models pa ng mundo, di ba? Ano yung experience? Tell us that. Ikwento mo sa amin yun. Oh my god. <laughs> it took a lot of time and hard work to get there but I love New York so brang everything that I went through before being based there and signing with a big agency made just like everything super worth it kasi parang <laughs> sobrang dun ko na feel yung parang pinaghirapan ko so sobrang mm-hmm. happy ko syempre that I got to sign with a big agency and everyone was like welcoming so sobrang I don't know it was it just felt right and parang I was just grateful at that time then so ayun it was good um signing with a big agency also because syempre um they have good connections they have like a good network like for you to be able to get good jobs as well so parang that really helped also with my career as a model and then working with them was like i didn't have any problems naman um they really push me naman to um be in shape and like get good jobs so they guided me naman pero during my time actually was pretty good because you know how before like modeling you really have to be super thin mm. like you have you know, sobrang grabe, kaya yung iba, hindi ako makail, ganyan. Pero, like, um, during my time, when I signed with the agency, they were, like, more open na, they just want you to be healthy and to be fit. And, of mm-hmm. course, ayun nga, not, syempre, like, pinapabayaan mo <laughs> yung katawan mo. Mm-hmm. Pero, they were more, like, open and more accepting na during that time. So, which was nice. So, like, you really, I really felt like, the industry was changing there and mm-hmm. at that time. So, so Sam, di ba, yung, yung major model management yung nakapagpadala sa iyo, naging mainstay ka pa ng Project Runway, di ba, sa Amerika, di ba? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I got to um, do Project Runway America. So, I mm-hmm. got to do two, two seasons pa. So, and that was one of like the big jobs I booked with them as well. And of course, marami then, pang iba. Di ba? May mga designer shows, may mga yeah. presentations. Yeah, I, I, booked, I booked a lot of good jobs with them. So, and they're really nice. <laughs> no, no, I love, man. Yeah. I love major kasi they're, ano, parang masikas. Like even now, Honestly, like even here, I'm still I'm in the Philippines right now, but um they still like keep in touch, you know, so they still want updates. Mm-hmm. So, because like, during the during the care, because <laughs> during the pandemic, di ba you came home? Because wala naman masadong trabaho doon. Yeah, city closed. Parang syempre, during the pandemic, everyone got hit, and mm-hmm. then during that time, New York close talaga all of like the businesses and the stores so ayun i went home <laughs> oh, oh, oh walang gagawin ni eh. anong gagawin di ba <laughs> oh, oh. ayun is here kasi ako lang mag-isa doon wala akong relatives there <laughs> oh, oh, oh. tapos sam di ba nag paris ka rin nag paris fashion week ka di ba gumampa ka dun sa mga designers at saka mga brands no ah uh, hmm. what any feeling mo na you were not only doing shows in New York, pero sa Paris din, pinadala ka, di ba? Ano yung naramdaman mo noon na hindi ka lang New York, nag-Paris ka pa? Yeah. Yes. Um, Siyempre, parang really felt like I was living the dream. Kasi, you know, as a model, that's kind of like one of the dream goals. Kasi you get to like um do shows or work in Paris and mm. like Milan and you know, just to all of these places. So, parang it really felt like I was living the dream. And then, when I worked in Paris, 
um sobrang I was really happy and proud because I parang the jobs I booked pa ako lang yung Asian ganyan so parang sobrang wow <laughs> sobrang proud ko then and parang sabi ko wow I can also like be here and be able to like you know kasabayan ko yung mga mga foreigners doon tapos ako lang yung Asian so parang ayun parang good job Sam <laughs> you made it <laughs> tapos Sam before before ka lumipad ng New York at saka Paris nagmodel ka muna dito sa Asia eh di ba yeah oo mm-hmm. ano ano sa tingin mo yung pagkakapareho o pagkakaiba ng mga Asian models doon sa mga sanay na sa New York and Paris um i would say like I mean, the fashion industry is like a uh, whole naman. So, like, trends and all naman are the same in general. Pero the differences lang, I would say, is like doon kasi most of the jobs, you get paid by the hour. So, everyone like really works fast and like everything needs to get done mm-hmm. like on time or like done, you know. So, mas straightforward din kasi yung mga people doon. So, Ayun, you have to like just do your part and do your role like properly. <laughs> Bakit? Dito so ba sa Asia, hindi ganun. Hindi general, sure. in general Asia. And here um there parang more because everyone like really knows each other. Mm. Cuz our industry is very small so um you get to like work and see the people, the usual people all the time, like all of our designers, all of mm. the models, and like you guys, the directors. So it's more like, ano ba yung term? Parang it's more like a community mm. na parang when you work, you know, may mga chica or like, mm. <laughs> or like it's more, I don't know, kasi parang here then we have a lot of, kasi um parang yung mga venues din natin for example sa mall right so we have to rehearse parang before the mall opens, opens. We're already there in the morning pero Seven. like after yung show 7am yeah. diba 7am diba so and then like ano pang oras afternoon pa yung show so kind of like you know parang it takes talaga the whole day for us so i mean in shoots naman it's almost similar naman din. So, parang, um, depende na lang kung <laughs> mabagal yung team. Pero, same lang naman din yung process. Like, you have a call time, um, and then you do hair and makeup, and then you wear the clothes, you do the shoot. Once you're done, then next look. So, it's like, same process lang naman din. Pero, dun, they're just like, you know, paminsan, they don't really like talk to you or you know because they always work with different people that's uh-huh. why you know so just you just do your own role in the like job and At then yung, yung oras yung oras diba ba yun yeah oras oh, oh. Ayun. anyway Sam curious lang ako alam mo naman di ko natatanong itong mga ganitong questions sa inyo sa inyong lahat ng mga modelo na tinulungan ko Among the local mm. mod, among the local models, sino yung tinitingala mo? <laughs> among the local models, when I entered the industry during that time, yung model that I looked up to was si Ria, Ria Bolivar, and si Chat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I tell her this, si, si Chat, si Charlene Almarves, who was also signed Um, in the same agency as me in Manila, um, parang at that time, kasi siya yung parang Ford supermodel mm-hmm. non, So, parang, she's also one of the models that I like, looked up to at the time. And then, si Ria, sobrang, she's the top model of the Philippines, non. Yes. Grabe, sobrang galing ni Ate Ria. Yes, of course, so, I agree, definitely. Yes. <laughs> so, sino naman sa international models ang ina-idolize mo? Meron ba? international parang during the time then the model that I really looked up to international was si Liu Wen like a, Liu she's Wen. a Ch- China S- oh, oh, from yeah. China supermodel and ayun parang galing din niya eh kasi at the time parang she was all like sa lahat ng magazines mm. she was all the shows yes. and then she's Asian 
ko, parang she was an inspiration for me. Parang I resonated with her the most kasi because being an Asian also. So, Still you, ayun. Man, oh. Ngayon, yeah. ngayon Sam na medyo, syempre, nag, nag-age na rin, pero bata pa, bata pa po yan, wala pa pang 25 yan. Anyway, <laughs> ngayon syempre, sa industry, medyo, ano ka na, medyo, nasa older batch ka na, di ba? Looking, looking back, meron ka bang regrets na pinasukan mo itong industriya ito? Regrets? No. <laughs> I don't think I mean in general I I think nobody should like regret <laughs> regret mm. what they did in life so you know I always naman tried to be present of course also like thinking about the future but I was trying I was always naman in the moment and like just enjoying everything because honestly I really 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 learned a lot so when I started modeling and I'm really, I, I have a lot of things to be thankful for and grateful about when I started. So, I don't, I don't think I regret anything. Like, mm-hmm. I got to be, I got to travel, I got to be based in New York. Right, yeah. I, I got to do, um, I had a lot of achievements that I don't think I'll be able to, like, dream of if I didn't model parang ganun. so yeah i have no regrets <laughs> sam as before before we started i told you na ang audience ko dito 14 to 25 nasa age range mo nasa age range mo di ba <laughs> yeah ano masasabi mo sa mga batang babae na gusto maging Samantha Gomez pag laki nila wow um i would say like Siyempre sa young girls right now, I feel like they shouldn't be pressured. Feeling ko right now, kasi it's different now, direct, you know, the mm. kids now is different and the generation. So, um, my advice lang is to not be pressured about like the status quo or like, because it's very social media based now. Um, Don't be pressured about that. Always just like be yourself and believe in yourself. Because if you can think it, you can become it. You know. Um, I feel like every successful person, naman, has always worked hard and believed in themselves and had faith. I mean, for me especially, parang what really got me through all of these years was also my faith in God. Because, parang it's a important parang guidance for you also to like not listen about the negative things if you if like someone says bad things about you you know you shouldn't care about what other people say so as long as you believe in yourself you're being yourself like your authentic self you know you should you should like be on the right path because and as long as you think positively because as long as you think positively you will attract um, good energy and good people also that will be able to help you with your goals. So, ayon, always be positive and believe in yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be yourself. Okay. <laughs> Sam, thank you for saying yes to this. I appreciate it. Alam ko, busy tayong lahat eh. Kanya-kanya tayong <laughs> schedule. And alam mo naman, Sam, I don't want to disturb people kahit kayong mga wards ko. Ayoko ng dinidisturbo, alam kong busy. So thank you for this. Thank you for taking yes. time. Thank you rin po for having me. Oh, uh, kumusta mo kay la mami mo ha? Yes po. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>